Welcome to Serving Locally with me, your host, Michelle Dinas, the podcast where we spotlight service in the Longmont and surrounding communities. All right, let's connect. Welcome to today's episode of Serving Locally with me. I am here with Anthony and Lynn from the Longmont Police Range Public Option, and I'm real excited to to see what they have to share and what we're going to talk about today. So I'll just start off with saying, you know, who are you and what is the Longmont Public Range Public Option and just a quick little overview. Okay, so my name is Anthony Torres. Uh, I'm one of the range officers, uh, chief range officer, I should say, and uh, instructor out at uh, out at the range. Uh, the range has been around for a while. Uh, it opened back in 2012. Um, basically, what it is, it's a fire range for the law enforcement guys to train. Uh, so the way it's set up is law enforcement gets in there Monday through Friday. They do all their their training to make sure they're up to criteria on all their uh, qualifications and so forth. Um, and then they hand it over to us on the weekend. So we get it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then we open it up to the public. Uh, so what we offer from that standpoint, from the public standpoint, is it's an open range. Uh, you become a member, uh, pretty cheap, uh, pretty easy process. We do a simple background check. Um, at, uh, depending on what package you pick, there's these different packages. It allows you so many times uh, to come in and, and shoot. So we got these different packages you can pick from. And then you come in anytime from uh, 8 to 4 o'clock when we're open, uh, Saturday and Sundays. Uh, and you, it's open range. You just come out and shoot and do whatever you want in, in the booths and so forth. Where we bring a different aspect to that as well as Lynn and I being instructors, we do um, several uh, classes out there. So our, our main class is really driven to uh, help uh, uh, the city in providing um, CCW training, concealed carry uh, firearms. So you come to us, we take you through the education, we get you qualified, and then you can go out to the Sheriff's Department and apply for your CCW. Uh, so that's our main class. We run one of those once a month. Uh, it's usually pretty full. Um, mm-hmm. They're uh, they're very popular. Uh, I think we do a very good job of, of getting people trained up and, and ready to, to take on that quest. So that's probably our main thing. And then uh, we'll get into some more details, but we do uh, a lot of other classes that uh, that we offer the city. Um, so uh, from that standpoint, uh, that's all we do all weekend. We make sure everybody's being safe, come in, have a good time, do some shooting. And then if you want to take it a step further, you take some of these different classes that we offer and that'll get you going in some different aspects of self-defense and so forth. That's fantastic. I mm-hmm. like it. Give us a little background about the organization. Well, it seems like um, when the city was going to build the range, and it actually is some uh, modified buildings that the city had already had that existed, uh, that there was... Um, a decision then when the funding was allocated that said, hey, we will have this public option, right? So yes, the police train there. Yes, the police can also contract out to other organizations to train there, but also that goes to the community. So the community can, you know, shoot there. So yeah, it, it's not even necessarily that it's the range, right? Because we've got some classroom space that's available there. We also have a simulation or a shoot house is another name for that. So there's plenty of area there that we can do different kind of training in. So, yeah, definitely we've got a team of six part-time paid range safety officers. We've got volunteers there, and we'll talk more about volunteers and how we'd like some more there. But uh, between those six range safety officers, the volunteers, and then Anthony and I are the only uh, instructors there, over, I'm going to say, probably the last maybe two years or so, um, we, we looked at the training that we had had as certified range safety officers, instructors, and things like that, and say, hey, you know, we can, you know, there is a need. How about the women in the community? Can't mm-hmm. we have a ladies-only class? Mm-hmm. Can't we teach them a little bit more than just, you know, coming in and, and the basics that they would need to do for a concealed carry license? So... It's, it, it came from a concept that was, I have my CCW, now what? Now what? Right? Because yeah. people really don't know what to do from there. Mm-hmm. So with these special programs that we have, the training that we have, I think 
um, is the bridge between training in a range, and there's nothing wrong with that, but training for real life. For purpose. Yes, exactly. And and let's just say right now, too, we do a lot more than just firearm stuff. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of non-shooting, non-firearm education that um, that we'll talk about when it's appropriate there. Awesome. That's great. So what is your focus at the public option for the range? So for the public option, uh, really what we're looking for is providing... Uh, a place for folks to come and shoot, right? Everybody wants to keep their skills up, whatever. If they're competitive shooting, if it's a defensive shooting, or just coming out because you like to shoot guns and, and have fun. Um, so that's what we offer. That's what the range is intentionally there for. So you come out, do whatever you want to. Pay your, your membership fee, you pay your, your fee to get in, come in, shoot, have fun. We have RSOs there to help out. If anybody um, you know doesn't understand something that may have malfunctioned or something, we have uh, uh, several RSOs that watch the line. So everybody's very safe, uh, obviously, in, in our in our field. Uh, safety is number one, and I think we have a, a, a very good team that is is picking that out. We have um, ex-law enforcement. We have ex-military. Um, lots of different backgrounds that we bring to the table. Um, so safety being number one, provide a safe place for the community to come and shoot guns. Uh, we take that to the second level, as Lynn was stating earlier. Um, you know, you get your CCW or you want to become better at uh, how do I defend myself, whether it's at home, in the public, whatever you may feel that you need that training in. We can also go down that path, and that's where we put together some uh, very good uh, training that lasts, uh, 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 you know, a year to get just get on board, and then it really kicks off. Um, so, yeah, once we get going with that, we'll take you down through the road of, of you know, step by step. So how do I get better at, at defending myself? You know, how do I put that into a real life situation? I mm -hmm. think that's one of the biggest things that we offer through our range. If you look at any other range, um, you can't, you can't. Right, yeah. right. You yeah. go to a range, you're in a booth, you're, you, you have you, your yeah, lane, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's all target. you can do. You got a little yes. target, sends it in, you run it back and forth, yep. you, you shoot it a couple times. Um, our range uh, is mobile, so what we can do is we bring out all our, our safety booths and open it up. It's a 100 by 50 indoor range, mm -hmm. uh, high, tall ceilings. Um, climate controlled. So in the winter, we can turn the heaters on and try to get it cool in the summers. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's climate controlled. So what we got is basically a big warehouse mm -hmm. and we can bring in mobile uh, walls, um, barrels, whatever we kind of think of to put uh, towards ourselves for the training. Uh, we can bring in cars, you know, different things that, w that help us make our training more realistic. So for concealed carry, you can actually draw from your, Correct. your place of conceal. Right, right. Most rangers can't. will not let you draw no. out of the holster. Mm -hmm. Yes. Once we get you qualified to draw from your holster, and then we get out in the open, uh, it's all draw from the holster, mm -hmm. moving, shooting, you know, getting behind a barrel. Uh, you know, how do I work a wall? How do I get out of my car? Or, how do I turn? Yes, Which exactly. Way? Right, right. Mm -hmm. All these different, right, right. Right. Yes, all these different mm -hmm. aspects of, of training, and, and there really is no limit mm -mm. it just goes on and on and on and that's what really gets us is is and sometimes it's difficult is what's the next aspect we need to teach right mm -hmm. we start from crawling and walking and running and now we're sprinting and not physically but <laughs> yes we're, we're really moving the, the training on uh, I, we just uh, did um little be a little shy with this but she mm -hmm. has a great uh following with the ladies community so we probably have about 60 ladies um, currently in our in our class. Uh, probably about 20 of that ran through our level one class a year or so ago. Um, and they're phenomenal. The, the ladies mm -hmm. from, what, 21 years old to, I'm not going to say how old. The older, <laughs> I won't say it, she can. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we have a wide range in age um, that are coming out to protect themselves. And they're, and they're very serious about, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be a victim. Um, or let anybody else be a victim. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. right. I'm going to help out the community, whatever their decision is. And we take them through the training and, uh, you know, shooting from a car, from, uh, you know, mimicking a store. You know, everybody's mm -hmm. heard of some mm -hmm. different things happening locally with King Supers and so forth. We can mimic what it would be like to maybe work your way through a store, um, different things like that. Um, so that training uh, alone is, is invaluable. Mm -hmm. uh, Lynn touched on what we do to make sure I don't have to pull my firearm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be in that, that scenario. So we I'm look at, shooting, right. Yeah. So we start mm -hmm. looking at situational awareness and we start looking at what we call our um, refuse to be a victim courses. And those are really geared toward 
getting out of there, recognize something's wrong and getting out before that, that situation, you know, pops off. Mm -hmm. um, so we teach a lot of things of, you know, what to look for, um, non-lethal forms of uh, protection, protection, pepper spray, bear spray. There's all kinds of different things that people will use um, and, and just anything you can find in a garage as well kind of mm -hmm. thing. But we're really trying to really focus on everything prior to me having to pull my firearm and defend myself. What can I do to keep myself out of that scenario? And that's where our, a lot of our training uh, is geared towards. Uh, we just finished up, we were talking earlier, but two-day class on that, uh, on more uh, situations like that, that mm -hmm. we're going to try to implement. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's the most valuable part. It's not, I want to pull my gun and, and defend the world and be Superman. I want to be able to get out of it, recognize it, move on, and and sadly to say, read about it in the paper tomorrow mm -hmm. um, kind of thing. Um if you get caught in that situation where you weren't able to get out of it, something goes off real quick, then you go into your training that we were providing and, and doing some things like that. So um, I think we, we cover everything from, you know, again, where uh, can I keep myself out of trouble? What happens when I get in trouble? And then we even uh, get into the parts of what happens after that. Right. People don't think about the aftermath mm -hmm. of if I was in a incident where I had to defend myself with lethal force what happens after that? Mm -hmm. And people don't realize that's really where the turmoil begins. Yes. Um, you got to get the lawyers involved. You know, you're going to be arrested. All kinds of different things may happen and, and all the different scenarios that can play out in that realm. We give you a... As it should happen. Right. It needs to happen. Yep. These things need right. to happen yeah. so that way it's right, it's correct, mm -hmm. and everybody is taken care of. Process, process. Right. It's just, what is that process? Mm -hmm. Right. So right. that way it's not scary and that way you know what you need to do in that situation. Yeah, because yeah. you could actually... Make it worse. <laughs> Make it worse. Right, yes. right. I'm trying yeah. to do the Much. right thing. I want to, you know, work with the police officers. This is what mm -hmm. happened. But in in terms of setting things up differently, you may say something that wasn't quite right in the right terms of what yeah. you meant. And that's what what we teach. It's is just what, to protect yourself. Right. You got to protect yourself. You got to defend yourself after you defended yes, right. yourself. Right. So it's a yes, mindset, too. and yes. you need to have the right mindset too. Right. If you're going to carry, mm -hmm. you know, so if you're going to carry any kind of a concealed firearm or whatever you need to be thinking the right way about it so we like to do a lot of kind of talking about and, and we stress it that way it's not mm -hmm. something you go into lightly thinking again i'm going to save the day i'm going to be the hero uh, usually after our classes and we go through the whole uh, uh teachings and everything by the end of the day i'll see a lot of people kind of going back and going you know what i might not carry in public i might mm -hmm. just work on it for my home defense because there's so much more that comes mm -hmm into your life that you really didn't realize it's going to, that's going to affect you after that incident happens. Mm -hmm. And some people are going, you know what? I, I don't want to deal with that. And which is perfectly right. great. No, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, exactly. If you're not ready for that, don't do it. Cause you are going to take your families involved, mm -hmm. your friends, mm -hmm. you'll lose friends. Mm -hmm. Ugh, it, it's amazing what's going to happen. Um, we look at cases like, you know, Kyle Rittenhouse and stuff like that. You know, everybody knows who he is because of the situation. You know, you don't want to be that person. And if you don't want to be in those shoes, you got to be careful where you're going with that. So we lay it all on the table. We try to show them all the goods, the bads, everything, the aspects or everything that it entails. Um, and, and we go forward with that. And I think that's what's lacking, you know, in the community is just that education piece of, you know, why carry or, right. you know, what, what do we do after, you know, like, just yeah. just Awareness. education 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 right. about it it's not a toy right it's a tool and it needs to be treated with respect mm -hmm. yes and the more that you're educated about it the more yeah you're educated you know and so you can do it safely you can do it in a good manner and actually help people instead of you know making making things worse mm -hmm. right i i mean if you can get trained up, I, I know everybody kind of thinks, uh, you know, I'm going to save the world and stuff like that. So you get out there and you're like, okay, it is not as easy as you think. Mm -hmm. And if, if, again, if you do it wrong, not only could you injure somebody who wasn't part of this scenario, because again, you're going to get riled up. You're going to be scared. Things are adrenaline, going, adrenaline, people are running. Every, you yeah. don't know what that situation is. Yep. Can you deal with that? And, mm -hmm. and we try to stress that in our training. Obviously we can't get into the, you know, uh, deep ends of the training, but you know we'll put you on a stop clock or you know make things a little different and it kind of gets your on you. right, yes. get your yes. heart rate up, mm -hmm. get you thinking a little bit, and and you'll see that come out in people. Mm -hmm. um, and that's yeah. again we're we're now we're getting you ready to feel how do I handle myself in those conditions? How are you going to react? Right, because right. right. you don't right. know, you right. don't know mm -hmm. until it happens of what oh. you're actually going to do. Right. You can you can have all the ideas in your head and, and oh, yeah. visualize it, but 
what are you actually going right. to do? What are you physically capable of right, doing? Right. And then mentally, how is that going to affect you? Right, right. And, and I think that's one of the things that benefits us from being instructors that we study a lot of those cases. Mm -hmm. uh, we work with a lot of different uh, groups uh, to, to diagnose, you know, different situations that we'll, we'll go through and, and we'll dissect and go, you know, what went right? What went wrong? What can we learn from this? Now, how do I take that and I teach that to our, our personnel mm -hmm. and say, hey, this is what we learned from this situation. We need to work on that and be aware of that. Um, so I think that's what really benefits us. And also being with the police range, even though we're kind of two separate sides of the coin, um, you know, law enforcement's running around all the time. You know, if I need to pick somebody's brain and, hey, you know, what are your thoughts on this? We have yeah. unlimited resources. They're happy to help. Yes. Yep. Is there a mix of, do you guys, do you guys mix up the the public and the police no. ever no. with no. them? No. 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 Mm -mm. no. 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 There, We're no. not qualified to. Oh, okay. Well, I was just, you know, it just so that way they can, so the public can interact with the police officers. Yeah, they're around. Uh, again, we deal more with um, retired law enforcement that have come out. Um, and, and we'll work with those guys. They'll, they'll help us out, um, you know, but uh, for the most part, it's, they really like to tend to watch uh, their cadets and things like that. We're more of, for the person who's never shot a gun, never held a gun, come see us. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're going to start out slow. We're going to get habits. you going right. Yeah. <laughs> the right things to do. Those bad habits. Law enforcement, they're coming out of uh, out of the academy. They're, they're right. let's go right. right. Uh, and know. they have a different mindset, right? Right. Mm -hmm. right. So it's your regular person mindset versus a, a police mindset, a military mindset. So you can get all kind of content that's inside this space, mm -hmm. right, on the internet. So you just need to be very careful about um, who you're who training you're getting from. your contact. Right. Yeah, yeah, where, where that information is coming from. Yeah, so. we, we've seen that. We, we do. We work with uh, um, some ex-military guys. Uh, we have a great group out of uh, Centennial. Centennial. Uh, Abel Shepard, uh, Jimmy Graham is an ex-Navy SEAL. Mm -hmm. um, he comes over and um, very, very good organization. These guys are amazing. I, I love working mm -hmm. with them. Uh, just good, good humans. Uh, but yeah, they, they take their training different because it's a military background. He has a different mindset uh, than law enforcement. And then law enforcement has their mindset on how they handle things. From a civilian standpoint, we have to handle it totally different gotcha. both of those. Mm -hmm. Right. We have to definitely watch our P's and Q's, our, the laws, mm -hmm. things like that. Officers got a little more leeway, right, mm -hmm. to defend and things. Right. And, and, and they get a little different rules that they can play by. Ours are so strict that we really need to know where we're at and what we're doing or you're going to be the one in trouble. Very defensive. And, yep. and you're yeah. going to be the no one offensive. in prison. Yes. Right? Yeah. So uh, we like to see that. We like to train from all three because we get good things from them. Right. But we always have to differentiate, hey, that belongs on the military side. Gotcha. We're not yeah. teaching that. No, yeah, absolutely. Right? Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This at home. Right, right. Uh, so I, don't need, I don't need to know how to launch a grenade. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Um, so uh, for us, it makes us better instructors when we can mm -hmm. train with all these different yeah. organizations and uh, uh, we're very blessed that our our team our, our executive team lets us uh, do some of these additional trainings we bring in groups like uh, gun sight and some outside instructors that we can learn from and also teach the civilians so it's open up to all the civilians we'll open it up we just had a uh, an instructor here tatiana whitlock um, out of maine uh, an amazing instructor, um, just overall, just incredible. Uh, she was here for two days, did a couple classes. People just, both classes were sold out. It was, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. awesome. Not only does it help us as instructors, we learn things on how to right. instruct better and do some things. It was great for our community because everybody just got this fantastic training that you didn't have to go travel to different locations to get all this training. We'll, we'll actually bring them here for you. Awesome. Um, so we're, we're looking forward to some of our groups next year. We're already working on, on some instructors for next year. So. Very cool. Very cool. So who are you trying to reach with your organization? Obviously the, the public, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's, uh, um, I wouldn't necessarily say it had to be Second Amendment people, mm -hmm. right? Because the thing that I like about the shooting sports, it's, it's a huge wide swath. So you could be interested in things from a marksmanship and purely... Purely fun, right? Just out there plinking around and, you know, with the 22 if you'd like to, or we can get more defensive, you know, bowling different pin. kind of, yeah, oh, oh yeah, and, and fun stuff, right? Bowling pin, you know, there's a lot of different things. You know so. what bowling pin? Oh, bowling pin, right? So <laughs> we put we put up, um, uh, we put up some um, kind of a wooden shelf unit and we put several bowling pins, like real bowling pins, 
And then we have people in head-to-head -head competition, so you'll have one person shooting at one uh, set of bowling pins, five of them usually, and another one, and we say go, and whoever gets the bowling pins on the ground oh. first wins. So it's a time thing, it's a skill thing, mm -hmm. and it's just a lot of fun. Just fun. Yeah. Yeah. Just oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's actually really taken off. We've uh, yeah, we started with the uh, in-house. Hey, this this sounds fun, and mm -hmm. and we did it uh, with the community, all us RSOs, and everybody got together, and, and we're like, oh, this was so much fun. We need to open it up to the community, and uh, holy cow, we're getting twenty twenty five people uh, coming uh, mm -hmm. uh, on this event, um, and it uh, we took it further. Uh, we work with two other uh, local ranges where. After four months of keeping points for everybody, uh, we'll talk our best eight shooters against each of their eight best shooters from each team, and we get together at one of the ranges. We kind of have like a little final competition mm -hmm. thing, and we'll get pizza and, and sodas, and we'll shoot, and everybody gets prizes. to meet new people. <laughs> right, we get prizes. We get to new, meet new people from other ranges, mm -hmm, and we right. get to see how other people do things and mm -hmm. stuff. So it really is that community we'll that comes connect. together because, mm -hmm. yeah, we connect, right? Mm -hmm. Anytime you got the baseball community or whatever, it may be yeah. there. There's, this is another one of those That's where a great it's way. not it's not defensive, it's not tactical. It's hey, we're just having fun and, and everybody likes to, to get together. What we and like talk. to do together yeah. and yeah, have, mm -hmm. have life as a pizza, shoot some bowling pins, and, and have some bragging rights, right? So, <laughs> um, so it's it's been fun. It's it's really grown. Uh, it's it's continuing to grow every month. We'll get a couple more people joining. Uh, so it, it's been a lot of fun. Oh, that's great. I like that a lot. I like I like. The, the knowing right. of how right. to, you know, of connecting people yeah. mm -hmm. and, and with things that, that they're interested in, um, that's, and that's a hard one to, to nail down. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yep. To target down, if you will. <laughs> oh, target. <laughs> <laughs> what makes the work of um, the public option different than other similar organizations? I don't even know. Uh, yeah, I think it's our training. It, it, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's our level of training is... I think unmatched between any other range and it's because of the range that we have it is an open warehouse we can get as creative as we want uh, we actually have a sims house which is shooting simulation uh, rounds which are basically like a, a paintball it has like a little so soap right. soap pellet at the end of it uh, they hurt don't get shot by one they do <laughs> hurt uh, so we gear up and and we'll do some really live firing training that mm -hmm. way um, we have a, a another part of the range as a big building um, has an open floor plan at the top, and it looks like two uh, apartments underneath when you go look from the top side down. Um, so we can watch people. How would you maneuver if somebody broke in your front door? How would you escape? How would you get your kids and, and put that plan together? Um, so we can kind of watch that and, and work that where other ranges, you don't have that aspect at all. It's mm -hmm. kind of, again, most of the ranges, you're going to go to a booth, mm -hmm. put your target down the end and shoot it. Uh, that you're not, That's not training. This is actually training, mm -hmm. work in a, a room. How do I get to the door? How do I grab Using a child? those fine yes. motor muscles right. yes. and, and creating the, the memory right. instead right. of right. just trying to. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So we have a lot of facilities. Uh, Abel Shepard, that was one of the things he loved about our range. Mm -hmm. um, so we've teamed up with him. He comes down and, and really kicks up our training because obviously with his background, he's helped us a lot with different scenarios and stuff and how to handle different things. And again, we have many leads to SWAT officers all over. Um, so coming up with scenarios and, and the training is easy for us. And I think that's one of the things that separates us from everybody else is, is our is our training and the piece that, again, we're going to reiterate all all through this. It's their planning prior to the to the incident happening. Okay. Uh, people don't realize it with, with some of the refuse to be a victim courses and, and things that we do of of you know having certain rooms we've all did the the if my house catches on fire you teach your kids okay you know you get out the window and you, i'll meet you at the front of the house Crawl, or, you don't yeah right yeah. Is it hot? Right. but we never <laughs> but we never yeah. train for a, a, a an intruder right mm -hmm. right what do you do if there's an intruder mm -hmm. right you know and how do you go through that and so we have courses that'll take you through if, you know if I, I do want to be able to get to my kids's or i have an elderly parent living with me or something how do I get to that room and then and then defend Protect myself them. from that room and and what do I need in that room? Cell phones and different things that people don't realize. Uh, you know, one of the secrets we mm -hmm. always give out is any old cell phone can still dial nine one one. So if it's right. if it's charged, it's not on yeah. a service. It could be, you know, the old flip phone from years ago. Mm -hmm. As long as you can charge it, keep you it can, powered right, up. Keep it right. powered up in a cla or in a closet, and when you defend yourself from that safe room. Right. 
have it in there because you're going to forget your phone, right? You're not mm-hmm. going to look for your phone. You'll be my my whatever I'm going to use <laughs> yeah, to defend exactly. myself. I'm going to get down that hole, get to realize, my kids' room, yeah. and I'm going to fight for my kids' room. Mm-hmm. Those are the kind of things that we all put in place and we teach you how to defend yourself before something happens and, and, and get in that mindset. So I think that's one of the things we really are very good at. We met up about two years ago at a class and just... Well, I- you yeah, before then I got involved in a lot of um, women's shooting groups, right? right? So that's kind of how I ended up getting in that way, you know. And and it was the same thing. I was looking for more information, more opportunities to practice, mm-hmm. you know. And then you just want more of a challenge, so I wanted more of a challenge. And I've gone to several different camps and things like that, different classes, and yeah, got involved with a group here that they had there. The live shoot portion was at the range. You know, so mm-hmm. I kind of knew you from that. And then um, through that, yeah, I was in, interested in becoming a volunteer. So I was a volunteer for a while. And then it was lucky enough that they were looking to um, increase the number of paid part-time range safety officers that we have. So I was able to get on there. And then That's awesome. You know, we were like, yeah, yeah, we're both instructors. Oh, well, what about this? Can we do this? And w- yes, but, but actually, yeah, we have our... Uh, uh, we are certified through the NRA to be um, pistol, rifle, concealed carry instructors. And mm-hmm. then we just last weekend got uh, certified through USCCA, which is the United States Concealed Carry Association, to be their concealed carry and home defense fundamental instructor. So, you know, we've got a lot of content, you know, and we're looking at that and thinking, oh, gosh, we can really, we can really do a lot of classes. So... Yeah, and, and, and again, and it's not all, all shooting classes, right? right? right. It's, you know, what and all do that's you geared, do before? the upfront stuff. That's right. that we really want to get you out of having to defend myself. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I got daughters, and ever mm-hmm. since they were little, I've been teaching them. And when they got to college, they were very aware. And mm-hmm. it's nice to see them now when they can recognize something in Walmart. Go, I see mm-hmm. this, or you know, that one's looking we're a little strange. Pay a little bit yeah. more attention. Well, yeah, right, right, I'm going to walk right? this way. Yeah, right? exactly. And so there's mm-hmm. just different things that we need to be aware of instead of just. Looking at my phone, going through the day, and then wondering what happened when somebody grabs you. Right, uh, exactly. So that's where we really focus. Is everything is before. I mean, the the shooting is fun, all that kind of stuff, and it's very intense and a lot. Of, and it needs to be there if that's what that's you're serious, looking for. Right. If that's really what you're looking for, then then we give you that, and and we give it to you in in multiple ways that are going to benefit. But we really focus on that upfront part. We really want to get people away mm-hmm. from having to do anything with that, you know. Um, you know, simple little things that we can teach and how to keep keep yourself safe and how to set things up that um, just make it better for you. And, and next thing you know, Safer. you're going to go, hey, I mm-hmm. don't know whatever, if that would have out too much or anything, but at least I wasn't there. Right. You know? mm-hmm. Exactly. <clears throat> what are your greatest needs? Communication out to the community, right? So the awareness that we are there. Mm-hmm. Um, there's information on the website that's through the city. You know, it's it's very limited. Yes. Uh, we've got some information on the calendar there. Um, but sometimes things change. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes it's difficult to get that, uh, you know, to keep everything synchronized. But, yeah, the, you know, we've got a nice membership. If the weekends work for you, that's it's, it's um, reasonably priced, you know. And, and, again, then you've got the access to a lot of different kind of training. And, and we will say you don't necessarily need to be a member of the range in order to take advantage of the training that we have or even, you know, the bowling pins and different things like that. So come, complete a waiver. We have your information in case anything happens, you know, and then uh, then we can uh, hang out and have fun. So Now you're talking about, um, yeah, do you have any upcoming events or volunteer opportunities? Volunteer opportunities. Well, really, in order for somebody to be a volunteer for a range safety officer volunteer, you're you're going to need to go through the city's process, right? So they'll do a background check on you, and then you'll get a badge and this sort of thing. So you're so you're vetted through the city. Um, but we do need volunteers. So we would like to have some more volunteers. Uh, one of the things you will get trained as a volunteer. So you will take a full day class. That's how to be a, a certified. NRA certified range safety officer. Um, but one of, I think, our biggest selling points is when we have the concealed carry class, 
that's a full day class, and there's at least two hours of live fire there. Mm. When we're running that, and next, what is it, in two weeks we have another class. We have 14 attendees. So we will have more than one or two range safety officers. We'll call everybody on, say, hey, all hands on deck. And we will <coughs> generally have one person in each of the lanes. So we'll break that class in half, half shooting at each time. But anybody that's there will have a range safety officer right at their elbow. And those are the volunteers? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. yep. So some will be our, our, our paid part-time RSOs and some will be the volunteers. Volunteers get trained just like our regular sa range safety officers. So I look at that, and I think that's reflected in a lot of the um, evaluations that mm -hmm. we get. People feel very safe with us, and that makes me feel good. It makes mm -hmm. me feel like Most of the it's, it's, yeah, it's mm -hmm. right, it right? It's all good. about yeah. safety. Yeah, it's not safety two or three, you <coughs> no, know, right. safety number it's one. safety right. third. Fun, so. yeah, fun maybe, you know, maybe <laughs> two or three or so. So, yeah. No events coming up, though? Not specific for that, but we run... But you run 12, yeah, almost, I mean, between he and I, we're running like 12 events every month. Mm. You know, whether it's a, a ladies level one, a ladies level one and a half, a ladies level two class, firearm one, firearm two, carbine two. Um, actually, next month, we are restarting uh, a ladies level one class. So if there was a lady who had a little bit of experience or had taken a CCW already, you know, had had that class, but she's looking now, what do I do now? Well, you can come in and join us. And it is a program, right? Because it's not just a onesie, twosie. Mm. So we will come, you will meet with us every month and we oh. will spend two and a half to three hours with you. There'll be a portion of the class that's in the classroom. Nice, calm, right? <laughs> no noise. <laughs> we'll be in there, present the topics, remind you of what you learned before. And then we say, are you ready to go? Yep. Let's go pull your bag out of the um, the car. Let's go into the range, and then we're ready on the range to go, and then to actually hands-on do what you just learned in that classroom. Right. And especially for females, being that I am one, I know that we can draw from many places depending on just what we oh, want yes, to wear. That's true. So do you guys focus on that? As yeah, and that's another thing. So, um, it, again, even when we have these women's classes, it's not always all the time on the range. So we'll have the time, and, and within the next couple months, uh, we'll have a section, and it'll be like after we shoot, that we'll go reconvene in the classroom and say, okay, well, let's talk about all these different ways that, that a, a woman can carry concealed. Mm -hmm. You know, because a lot of times they just don't realize all the options that are available. Right. So if we can, you know, guide them to a particular brand or style or something like that that they're we think is, with. is mm -hmm. more reasonable, yeah, then we'll do that. That's awesome. So, between. And the pros and cons of that. Right? Yeah, so yeah, some people, like, some oh, people yeah. think, oh, this is the way I want to carry or your husband told you this is the way you carry. And I'm like, yeah. well, this is why you should or should not, right? Because it, there's the, the theoretical process and then there's the actual mm -hmm. what if you're Practical. sitting at the table at a restaurant. That's going to be different for yeah. depending on where it's located, different things. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we look at the whole thing where some folks that are not deep into it will think, hey, that's. If I carry there, then I'm fine. Well, yeah. depends on what situation you're in. I may want to move it. I may do different things, whatever. Mm -hmm. So we, we look at it uh, the whole way through, and, and she does a great job with the ladies' class. Uh, again, yeah. we usually start it's those. very in, satisfying. Yeah. We <laughs> usually start those in January. Uh, we've got such a big request, again, with brand-new shooters and, and yep, you know, we've got taking off of what you said. Month. This is open to any lady. If you've never held a gun, nothing, no zero experience. They're actually the ones we want because they're easiest to teach. <laughs> right. They really are. I don't have to break right. bad habits. But you have to, to promise anything. to practice, right? right. So you can't <laughs> just come to the class. You've got to, you know, make a commitment, honestly, and that's what we say. So if somebody, you know, reached out and said, hey, I'm interested in this, I'd say, okay, well, here's the schedule. If you can make the schedule or as good as you can, you know, to yeah. that. Because we do operate under the thought process, nobody's going to get left behind. So if for some reason you had to miss a September class, we we'll will work with you because we can actually yep. do, you know, individual uh, private lessons right. on the range. And we will, right, get you back up to ski speed, get you up with the rest of the gals. Mm. And then that makes it safer for everybody yes. because everybody's doing the same thing at the same level. Yes. So we'll all, 
drag each other, you know, through the process, but everybody will, will you'll get I, all the I, content. I love the idea of having it for females because, mm-hmm. you know, um, having the husband or the boyfriend teach you can get, can get, um, yeah, messy. Mm-hmm. Uh, my brother was the, um, hunting, the hunting lead at Sportsman's Warehouse. Mm-hmm. And so he had a lot of that coming in of people, you know, go, yeah. you, the, you need this gun yes, and, yes. you know, and she's like, I don't even know, you right. know, whatever. Yeah. And he's like, you should really have anybody else right. <laughs> walk we, you through we've this. Had, we've had gals yes. come in that, yes, that never touched a gun. And we might say, you know, we have introductions in the beginning of the concealed carry class. Oh, well, you know, what's your experience right. level? What did you bring? Well, I don't know. I don't it's in even the bag. know. Yeah, I don't even know what it bought is. Bought it last the color night. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I bought it last <laughs> night. I'm here today. <laughs> here Perfect, though. Yeah. No, yeah. That's exactly what we want. It's good, right? I, I, yeah. I like it. Bring them in. Um, I can show you things right from the get go, and, mm-hmm. and you're good to go. Yeah. Don't have to break bad habits, or your husband showed you how to do this, or something. Let's just go it that way. Mm-hmm. And, and je- guys are just as, I mean, but get a gentleman who doesn't know anything about guns. It's great. It's the guys that were pre-military. I shot when I was a kid with dad and stuff like yeah, that. They're the yeah. ones we're at the you only know, rifle. Fix, and this. fix your fix that. This yeah. Like, it, it, it's a lot more work. But once they once you show them by changing something and how it works, then they're like, oh, that does work. Oh, it's so oh, much yeah. better. Oh, that yeah, is good, yeah. right? And right. as this light comes on, it's and, all the and, why. and off mm-hmm. they go. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, again, she does such a good job with the ladies. Um, we took our, what, they've been in there about a year and a half from our first group, yes. two years. Yeah. And we've gotten them where they shoot one-handed. They can put a tourniquet on. They can do certain things and move and shoot and um, you know, for the ladies out there going, oh, my God, I'd never get there. These are ladies that had never touched a gun. Mm. Yeah. They'll Very be the first, first to tell first one, you. First yeah. class oh. was, here's how you hold it. Here's how to put one round in right. the magazine. Because yeah. right? they were putting it backwards. I'm like, okay, this is going to be a long day. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you look at them a year and a half. Away, right? You look at them a year and a half later, and you're like, oh, my yeah. Lord. And I think that the is. confidence. That mm-hmm. is one of the things that I think that gets both of us is, mm-hmm. is knowing that you're helping somebody want to defend themselves. Mm-hmm. To the confidence they now display when they go through life, those types of things, that empowerment that they get from this. And and it's amazing watching some of the ladies, you know, develop over this year, two-year program right. uh, has been incredible. So that's what we really get out of it mm-hmm. is giving back to the community, whether it be the non-shooting portion, which is, again, the most important part. Mm-hmm. Come to the refuse to be a victim classes. Uh, there's no shooting or anything. Um, and then if you do want to get to that part where I feel I want to defend myself in a different way, mm-hmm. and we can take you there right. as well, right? It's awesome. Oh, I love it. I love full it. Full spectrum. Yes. Full <laughs> we have the tactical uh, med class coming up. Yeah. Uh, we don't have it mm-hmm. scheduled yet. Um, we're working on the on the calendars uh, because an outsourced source comes in and does that for us. Uh, it's a co-instructor uh, of ours. Uh, he's not tied to the to the range, but he comes in and he'll teach uh, uh, tactical, what we call tactical uh, med. Really, it's it's... It's uh, a med class that anybody should take. Um, and I always say, please, ladies, come in and take that because us as men are horrible. We're yes. always falling out of the tree with a chainsaw or something, right? So we need you guys to know how to save us. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's tourniquets. It's blood packing. It's, you know, your wife cut herself with the knife. Yeah, yeah. Um, son crashed on a bike and there's a bone sticking out. It's, it's or anything you come that upon you would... an accident yes, on the side exactly. of the road so you can help. Actually, you know, no. it's the Good Samaritan yes. right. rules, right. right? So, you know, yeah, at least stop about the those. bleeding or mm-hmm. get a heart going or whatever those is things. Is it a certification class? It's just... <clears> it's just, not a certified class. Um, uh, we're going to work on that on the future with a TCCC program mm-hmm. that comes out. They're definitely more intense and, and more critical and stuff. But this is something that for one day of class for, I can't even remember what we charge for that. You come out for a day, and uh, it's great training. Hands it, on. Hands on. Yeah. We teach you all kinds. We break out all kinds of med kits. Well, and, and that's great, too, that it's hands yeah. on. Yeah. Because yep. that's how you really yeah. learn things. Mm-hmm. You, you can read kit. all about it and watch videos, but, man, to yeah. actually physically do mm-hmm. it, man, that well, do that it on yourself, you. too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hard yeah. I, I could put a tourniquet on somebody else or do some, but then you're like, okay, how do I get this darn thing on myself right. one-handed, right? Well, that's uh, that's going to be September <clears throat> yeah, right. with any of mm-hmm. our level one classes, whether it's the co-ed class or the ladies only. Right. September is, you know, right. uh, tourniquet. Tourniquet so it's tourniquet. So how do you put a tourniquet? Let's just say, right, you know, 
you're, you would get shot in the arm. How do you get a tourniquet on that arm so you don't bleed out? You know, right. and then how do you continue the gunfight oh, wow. and protect yourself with right. one hand? How wow. do you deal or, with that? Or like that? she said, even right. going through a, a car wreck. If you got right. a car wreck yourself, right. we all we all carry tourniquets. And after mm -hmm. this class like that, you're like, okay, I need one in my car. I need one in my home. I need one in the RV. And you know, you got these things laying around like anything, right? Yeah. Uh, well, but, they won't go bad. <laughs> right. But you got to learn how to put it on yourself right. because if I was in the accident and I got hurt and my arm was bleeding out, how do I put that? So it really right. doesn't tell you always back. We do a lot with the guns, but it really is mm -hmm. more of, I like to look at it is if something were to happen camping, mm -hmm. hunting, you know, mm -hmm. our hunters are out there, you know, we we're always out there and, and I'll ask my guys to go hunting and there's maybe two of us that have med kits. So you're out there by yourself and you slip on a rock and something happens. How are you going to save yourself? Right. Yeah. Um, those you are the things that we say. call somebody. No, mm -hmm. not out there. No, mm -hmm. By yeah. the time they get to you and find you, it's going to be way too late, right? So I know this. those are the things that we really put a lot of focus mm -hmm. is on our T triple or our T triple C classes. Yep. That's great. Mm -hmm. Hands on. I like yep. the hands yep. on. Yeah. That's fantastic. It's a great class. That's something that's that's different also. So how can people connect and contact and find out more about um, the Longmont Police Range Public Option? Um, you can actually go out to the Lamont uh, City uh, websites. Uh, if you put in uh, Lamont Firing Range or Training Center, that should get you down to the, uh, the main page. And there it should list out phone numbers, uh, contacts that you can mm -hmm. get a hold of us. Um, calendar on there, There's too. a calendar on there that you can see upcoming events mm -hmm. and so forth. The hard part with the city is it takes us so long to get things through the channels, right. to get things changed. If I got to cancel a class this Saturday, they're not going to know about it by the time. So we also mm -hmm. double back off of my personal website, um, T3 Firearms Training LLC. That way we can post it right now. Hey, mm -hmm. I, I got two more openings for this Saturday or I got to cancel Saturday. Mm -hmm. Whatever the information that we need to get out, uh, we go Facebook and uh, the, face, or, uh, the website off of mine. Okay. Uh, just easier for us yeah. to do that way. That way we can communicate communicate better with mm -hmm. our with our folks. Right. Um, right. But so. we get a lot of emails yep. from you know range support at longmontcolorado.gov. Right. Okay. So again, that's that's an easy way to get a hold of us. Right. So. And I'll have everything as always in the QR mm -hmm. code. Um, it'll be there um, in the link tree, and then um, in the description, I'll have everything listed there right. as click clickable things also. So, um, yeah, clickable. Um, clickable. <laughs> it's a word. Yes, a it clickable, is. Cl a clickable link. There you go. Right. That's yep. what it's Operational called. Operational link. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Whatever. Yep. Yeah. Live link. clickable. Yep. Live. <laughs> Live. Um, you don't have an Instagram then yet? Oh, uh, we do. You yeah. do? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, but for our own, not necessarily not for, right. re not representing right. the public option. Right. But right. So we have our own because we each. what's going on. Yeah, we each yeah. have our Just own. Just to connect. Training business. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we all have our own business but we work for this yeah is there anything else you'd like to add to the conversation that you feel like we missed or you just feel passionate that you want to talk about well we're more than just shooting mm -hmm. i think that's the most important thing is that we really want to make sure that people are protected protect yourself um, when seconds count you know you'll hear this thing that says yeah the, the police are coming mm -hmm. right but you might need to um to do something on your own and so. maybe and, and help them out yes in the process mm -hmm. yeah we i think our training is is top notch um from like i said having fun with a firearm having being safe whatever it may be we can teach you that all the non-engagement things uh we get we you were just hitting on that you know what if the cops are coming how do you how do you make yourself that I'm not the bad guy? They oh, don't know yeah. what they don't know right. what's happening. They're coming around right. the corner and exactly. they just got to call. How can we help? You have a gun. Right. Please help. Right. What is, what's yeah. going to happen? Guess, guess what's mm -hmm. going to happen when yes. you comes around the corner, right? So right. there's different things that we can help ourselves out, and and that's kind of that whole spectrum that we go through. We try not to leave anything out in any of the training that we can help make it safer mm -hmm. for everybody, not only the law enforcement, for mm -hmm. the person, everybody that's there. How do I make that better? And and, and we teach you all those the little things and, and stuff like that. And you, the next thing you know, two years later, you, you'd feel <laughs> like, oh, I should be able to have this down in a year. Two years later, you're still going, oh, there's so much to learn. So much um, it, it is a process. It's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. People don't get it. Um, but uh, my biggest thing and, and what I like is watching Lynn is our ladies program is huge. It, it, I can't get enough of watching the ladies train, putting them through training and how they just soak everything up. Mm -hmm. and, and again, our biggest thing right now 
if you're a lady who's never touched a gun and wants to learn how to defend yourself and your family, well, that's going to be starting up in August. Get a hold right. of us. That's a great time right now. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where are you guys located? <laughs> I know, well, I'll put the address on, so, but yes, 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 yes. So, because so. it's funny because like, our race car shop is within yeah. walking distance. My husband works within walking distance. We drive past. Nobody knows where that is. You guys are hidden. Nobody yeah. knows where, where that is. Where is this gem? Like my at. first trip, yeah, I was on the opposite side of the road on a dirt road. I said, this can't be this right. Can't be this right. can't be right. It is hidden. It is tucked back yeah. uh, right off of yeah. 119. Uh, the best way I can say it, there's the. Uh, fire station there, Mountain uh, View, Mount View Fire or or uh, on the corner. Yeah. It's the only one on 119 right before you get to the river going east. We're right behind it. There's the big, huge uh, tower. Uh, oh, by, it's the yeah. tower. It's yeah. all about yeah, the tower. Yeah, it's all about the yeah. tower right behind mm -hmm. or right underneath that tower. Yeah. Um, great facility. Like I said, we have classrooms, shoot Fantastic. house, big range. Uh, lots going on there. There's a dog park there or a dog canine training center. Mm -hmm. It's really big for the canine stuff. And we do a lot of uh, fundraising for the canine yes. unit. We've gotten to know uh, all the guys over there real well. Um, they'll come out anytime we ask, hey, we bring the dogs out, do a display. Oh, they're there. You know, yeah. we just had the open house. Mm -hmm. We had dog display a couple times during the day. They'll let them, you know, go, yep. go run around, it. show how they, you know, take people down, stuff like that. So we do a lot of stuff with the canine unit. We raise enough money. Last year, I think it was, they were looking, they had a bunch of new dogs, and they have to fundraise most of their stuff mm -hmm. after the grants have been fulfilled. Um, and by were, the protective right, vests. And they were getting a, yes, they were yeah, getting a like Kevlar a, vest officer, yes. uh, that can hit, stop you mm -hmm. know, rounds and, and knives and things like that. And I think we purchased two or three of those yeah. oh, through yeah. our group. That was um, great. So. I know we have the canine in one of my – in one of the – when we were at the mm -hmm. the location, mm -hmm. so um, I haven't been able to listen to it yet, but um, I know Mom was there, and yeah, they, she, right. they were really impressed yep. with yeah. that. I thought that yeah. was awesome, too. Yeah. Yeah. So and it, again, we work with a lot of folks. A lot of the local companies, people don't realize Lama is kind of a hotbed for firearms distribution stuff. Mm -hmm. um, people mm -hmm. are making all kinds of different parts and, and things like that, and there's mm -hmm. these little companies that nobody knows about, and we've been digging them up, bringing them out, and they've come to our open house that day, so we had... Right. You know, we had yeah. booths, we had uh, all kinds of things going on, food vendors and, and stuff like that. It was a great day. Everybody came and shop for free. My yeah. son, my son yeah. was there. I, I was not there, and I, I we were missed. I'm so sad. And I'll yeah, never. I <laughs> but um, yeah, that was it's it was it sounded amazing, yeah. and so that's I can't wait till next the next yeah, thing I was that you do. Say, yeah. Every so, year it's getting better. So yeah, it's, yeah. And I'll be there next year. Yeah, I will be there. We do a lot of work with them. Yeah. Uh, 4 H. We do a lot of work oh, with 4 yes. H kids. Yeah, so that's so we open true. Up our range. Younger, um, right. younger kiddos that you know can't because we do have a. a right. <clears throat> an age, you know, the the lower age that you're able what to shoot it? there. Uh, you got to be ten. Gosh, huh? You got to be ten with 10. an adult. Yeah, but the um, but four H shooting sports for Boulder County shoots with us, and they have honored us too. Right, We've gone right. to several of their awards dinners. Oh, cool. you know, that are at the fairgrounds, and that, and that's very satisfying too. Nice bunch of folks, and the kids are all respectful. Yes. Uh, safety, very safe. Very, yeah, very safe. safe. It's, yes. a great pro it's a great program. Yeah, and it's a, yes, on. exactly. So that, that'd that be another resource I would, you know, love to be able to give them a plug and, and point people their way. So. Right. Yeah, for each, it's a good group mm -hmm. who works over there. Yeah. That's all I can think I can, <laughs> I can do. Great. Yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot, a lot, lot going, going on. on. Uh, no, I can't even tell you how many fantastic. classes we teach a year. It's, right? Uh, it's phenomenal that uh, we oh, can get that much done in a weekend. Trying to keep track every month, you know, and how many people go through. I think last year, just for the concealed carry class, we had 110 students. Wow. So that's pretty good. You know, that's a good 10 people a class. Right. Um, right. And we, we limit that class. We had a ton of new members, right. you know, ton of new members last year. So membership is good. Um, we utilize the rec track system also. So you can reserve your lane at the range. So if you think you want to come out, you know, take a look, you know, reserve your time. And that was sort of a remnant of um, COVID-19 closure, you know, where we were, we were closed for a while. We opened back up. We had our, um, you know, cleaning routines that we went through in the range. But it is helpful when we know that you're coming. So... That's great. You know, so we don't have, you know, many people waiting at the door to come. Right. <laughs> so. 
Well, thank yeah, you guys so much time. for coming in. And um, I know it's been trying to thank connect you. and everything to get you guys here. But thanks for being my first two people <laughs> for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was fun. I thanks hope, for having us. I hope it's I learned so. something. Yeah, but no, I thought it, I think it, um, yeah. think it was awesome. And I, I, I really appreciate you guys coming out and thank you. doing thank this. You and I appreciate much. all that you guys do. And I'm really looking forward to what you guys do in the future and what, what I can do with you guys because right. come on out because this is something that is near and dear to me and um, my family to you know that it, we don't have a fear of guns we don't treat it as the enemy it is right. a tool to help us and to protect our community and to serve our community mm-hmm. and the education piece behind that is critical for that Huge. Huge. Is, it, yes. that's that's yep. what needs to happen mm-hmm. and right. I think that that's what's lacking and then, you know, when things happen, you know, just to not have that that fear mentality right. that if something were to happen and I were there, what would I be able to do? Right. How do I protect my kids? How do I protect myself? How do I protect other members of my community right. that maybe can't? Mm-hmm. And um, so for for me, this is a very personal topic for me. And I just, I appreciate you guys. No, thank you. We're so just trying much. to get the word out there. Yeah, so true. Absolutely. If somebody's looking to, to get into that and... Mm-hmm. and, and that's your passion or something you want to even look into that where the or just, if you have questions yep. mm-hmm. give us get all. educated yep. yes just yep. get educated yep. just a little bit yep 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 <laughs> so Take you can over. have just a, just the terminology would yeah. help <laughs> and we, we post a lot of stuff on facebook that way you know just helpful hints hey remember this month is you know check your fire extinguisher check your you know whatever we're mm-hmm. always just throwing content out there mm-hmm. to remind people there's so much these more are the than things. just yeah right it's just firearms. Not firearms. next door there's, too. there's a lot of stuff mm-hmm. there yeah, yeah depending yeah, on yeah. your neighborhood and we do a lot of we do a lot of stuff on next door yeah. as well. okay. so we're trying to get word they're very, out that uh, way they're Good. very two way uh, uh receiving mm-hmm. awesome. so it's nice nice to work with them yeah so yeah thanks you guys i appreciate thank it. you All right. yeah thank you to my guests my listeners and my supporters serving together we can strengthen our community please like and subscribe do all those other things you know you got to do them because that's the easiest way to, that you can serve right now all right now go connect with others and be a blessing <laughs>